All right, let's go in. This is crude oil this morning. We're getting nice price action from crude this morning off the trap. What is a trap trade? So we, we know we, we have um, these arrows that come up with our different setups. So the new update you guys are getting will have an alarm system when these arrows fire off. So you can have the alarm come off when a trap trade comes in, when a slingshot comes in just like this, uh, when a uh, momentum trade comes in, you know, when a first wave comes in and so on. What we have is we have, as far as uh, the indicator, get this out of the way here, is the indicator will allow you to, the new update will allow you to pick which setup that you want to fire as an arrow. So, put this over here real quick. So you can see that I have a first wave toggle switch. So let's say I just want this trap trade to come up by itself that happened on the crude oil here this morning. This nice productive cell, the cell came in at 58, and it's all the way down to almost 100 ticks. That was almost a $1,000 potential move just from this trap cell this morning. Um, that's almost a, that's 100 tick uh, on the large contract. With, which was would be a thousand dollar potential uh, move per one contract on this trap. So if you just want to do the trap trade, you can select trap by itself. Um, you do have an alert system. You can change the wave to a beep, what have you. You can just change it to a three or four, whatever beep you want, uh, sound you want to make. But that trap, if you want just a trap, this arrow would fire off by itself. Let's say you just want to do the slingshot by itself. You would toggle switch to slingshot. And this arrow slingshot was a very productive trade also, 7,103.04, and it got as low as what, almost down to the 60. So that's a $400 potential uh, uh, slingshot potential trade on crude oil. So you can, if you want to have all of them fire off, you can just have them all fire off there, all my setups, and these arrows will fire off with the toggle switch, the alert system. Okay, so that's, that's an indicator. Uh, we do have a strategy that emulates that. The strategy will emulate this, and I'm going to go over this Friday in our conference call. Uh, the, the strategy will emulate the indicator. So if you want to do a strategy with it, then it would be the same thing. The strategy side of it, you could you have toggle switches here for the strategy side of it. So if you just want to do trap trades, you can do the strategy side of it there. And the strategy, I do have different time windows you can trade the strategy stop targets um, we do have uh, the kill time so you don't trade through news you know we'll go over this friday how all these little um, parameters work but the point is is that you can use you can select of my top setups here which one you like the best so if you just want to do a trap trade and that's what this video is about is about the trap trade a trap trade is simply this a trap trade is when i get my automated arrow that comes up for a failure so I got failures come up automatically in the room. A failure is against zone trend. That arrow fired. If that failure fires and then I do not trend change, meaning going to a green zone, and I go right into a slingshot, that's a trap. And why I call it a trap trade is what's called a liquidity grab. What they're doing is, is they're bringing the market higher. They're trapping the longs to bring it back short. Because what they do, it's liquidity grab. They're grabbing liquidity from this high to that high, a higher high. A liquidity grabs are, are always for shorts, a higher high. And for liquidity grab for buys, it's always a lower low. So if this was a, a liquidity grab to the uh, upside, if it was green zones, then they would bring a lower low liquidity grab here and bring it higher. So the, it, for shorts, it's, it's easy to see because it's a higher high into the zone. And the easy way to see if it's a liquidity grab or not, a trap trade, a possible trap trade, you'll see a failure come first. You'll see the arrow fire first on the on the on the failure, and it goes right into a uh, slingshot. A slingshot arrow will fire there. That indicates a trap trade. This was at 58, and it got as low as what now 64. That's almost a hundred tick potential move right there. So I went from a trap, I went from a failure into a slingshot, which is a trap. This combo is called a trap, which if you toggle that switch on on your indicator or strategy, it will only take that short here. Then we come down and we come up to the shallow retracement and go right into a slingshot. 
that's a slingshot arrow that fires. In the room, I'm only showing slingshots and failures that are firing. So that's why these arrows are firing automatically in the room. And we let that run 23 out of 24 hours a day in the room. So when you see this as a trap, this is, this is a neat little trap trade. There's, there's, here's food for thought and a little tip for you guys. If I see a trap trade, I get into a failure, and it holds this shallow level, and I go right into a slingshot, but it doesn't break the shallow like this. So let's say I go into a trap trade, and I get a failure trade arrow that fires there. And then I go right into a trap trade that holds the shallow, meaning price action does not break above my shallow zone. If that happens, you, you potentially have a blow-off sell-off, a blow-off rally. And so just heads up on that. That means they're, they're doing a liquidity grab, but the market's so weak that they're trying to break this lower low, I mean this, this swing low. And if it breaks this swing low, the market typically likes to follow through quite well. And so just... Use these zones for gauge uh, to gauge strength or weakness uh, on it, but um, the trap trades are, are are can be quite productive on a move because they're grabbing liquidity, they're getting the rolling position traders trapped, and that is causing uh, the counter trend traders to be taken out of the market. And then once that swing low is broke, it typically will hold if the market's weak. You'll notice on the trap trades from the failure, if you draw that straight across from the failure, it should never break that swing again. All the, all the productive trap trades, you can actually get another shot at it too. And you'll see this quite often with the software. You'll see, it, you'll see a failure come in, then you'll see the trap happen here, which is a slingshot. And then once you break that low, that failure, that next retracement up, which is typically a slingshot, which it was here again, it should never break that high. So it's, it's neat to know that price action. You'll see that, that the trap actually is productive and holding that swing high on the next leg down also. All right, so that's, those are the trap trades. This Friday, we'll, we'll have a conference call on this new indicator update and also strategy that you traders are going to get, be getting. I got the trap toggle switch done, and it's, uh, it's all done for you guys. So all my toggle switches are done on the indicator and the strategy. And we'll go over that Friday at 8.15, record it to 8.45.